I love this recipe since it basically marries a chicken curry with a dal recipe. I will use my pressure cooker for this recipe and in this case I'm going to be using my instant pot. I'm going to put it on saute mode and I'm going to add some oil. I made some fried onions earlier and I'm using that reserved oil but you can also use any oil. I will start to make the tadka or tempering which will finish off this dish. I'm going to add one teaspoon of cumin seeds, one teaspoon of mustard seeds, I've got roughly 7 dried chilies, 1 teaspoon each julienne of ginger and garlic, 3 whole green chilies and I have some curry leaves here but I'm only going to add about 10 to 15 leaves in the hot oil. I'm going to saute this and then I'm going to remove it and reserve it. Some of the seeds may be left behind but that's okay. I'm going to add a bit more oil and then I will add 2 cups of sliced onions. Allow the onions to sweat and then brown. To help this along, I will add some salt. Now it's time to add some chilies. I will be adding 3 to 4 green chilies. I've slit these, it's about 1 tablespoon. Next I will add half a cup of curry leaves. Saute this well together. Once the onions are browned, push it to one side and add a bit more oil. Now I'm going to add in my chicken. I have 500 grams of chicken. I'm going to be using a whole chicken that has been previously cut. To this, I'm going to add 2 teaspoons of ginger and garlic paste, 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 tablespoon of chili powder, 1 tablespoon of cumin powder, 1 tablespoon of garam masala, and one tablespoon of crushed black pepper. Mix this all together with the chicken. Now I'm going to add two cups of diced tomatoes and I'm going to mix it in. I will be adding one cup of tur dal. This is split pigeon peas. I've soaked this for 30 minutes and it's been drained. I'm also going to add half a cup of masoor dal, this is red lentil dal and this has been soaked for at least 30 minutes and drained as well. I will give this a quick mix and add in 2 cups of water. Now I'm going to close the lid of my pressure cooker and I'm going to set it to pressure cooker mode for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, I'm going to allow the steam to escape and then I'm going to open the lid. Put this back on saute mode or low flame if you're using a stovetop pressure cooker. Give it a stir, add salt as needed. Finally, I'm going to add in the tadka or the tempering that I prepared earlier. If your gravy is too thick for your liking, you can add a little bit of water to thin it down. I made some fried onions earlier. I had reserved the oil and used it, but now I'm going to add in half a cup of fried onions. Finally, I'm going to add in a half cup of chopped coriander and this is ready to enjoy.